wound care for a blister. Uh, in this scenario, she has a, a blister on the bottom of her foot, and this blister uh, is filled with fluid, and also, in addition to that, it's very painful to the touch or, or any type of pressure. Um, so, again, we want to inspect the size. We want to make sure that we have our gloves on because um, we, we are going to be um, opening this wound. Um, uh, we want to make sure that uh, when we get ready to open the wound, we are going to need some, uh, some gauze for that. And we are also going to need um, a pin or a needle of some type. Uh, in this case, we'll use a, a bobby pin. And what we're going to do with this one is we want to sterilize it. If we had a lighter, we can sterilize it this way. Uh, you can also sterilize this uh, with an alcohol pad or a um, iodine uh, pad. So, again, this might be a little messy. So once that is sterilized, uh, next we want to make sure that we have some uh, gauze uh, to collect the fluid. And what we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to poke a hole in the corner of the blister, okay? Um, and in this sample, we're we're going to uh, poke a hole in the top. But you want to make sure that you have a gauze on there, not only to collect. Um, the fluid that's in there, um, but also to help. Um, so as I push the, the hole in the, the top of the blister here, I'm going to push gently, because it, again it's going to be a little bit painful initially, but I'm going to push that, once I have the hole, I'm going to push that fluid out and collect it with that gauze pad. If I need additional gauze, um, I, can, I can use the gauze. But again, you're only going to poke that, um, make one hole, one hole in there. Okay, so once you have the, the fluid out, uh, again, now you have your open wound, so uh, again, you're going to want to make sure that you have some gauze to clean it with your uh, saline solution. Again, be gentle because she might be a little tender even though the fluid's out. And then um, once it's clean, then there's a couple different methods that we can use. Um, uh, I'll show you one. We can uh, use something called second skin, okay? And these are, very, these come in various sizes. They come in three inch circles. These happen to come in little uh, one inch squares. So what we want to do is grab the appropriate size and number for these. And you see one side is blue, one side is white. So again, you want to make sure that you take off um, you know, both sides. And then we would just, in this case, we might just need one um, to put that. And then we would uh, cover that with an appropriate uh, uh, bandage. It might be as simple as a, uh, a band-aid. Um, but I also want, let me show you the, another method that we can do is to apply uh, antibiotic ointment. And for this one, we're going to need our uh, antibiotic. And again, we want to make sure that we don't put the antibiotic right on the wound. So um, we may need to um, put this out onto cotton tip applicator. Or you can obviously use a single unit. Put that over the wound. And 
And then again, cover this with a bandage of the appropriate size. And then the, whoa. And the last thing that we're gonna do is because of the pressure uh, point, we wanna make sure that uh, we can also put a donut on this area. And uh, we can either make our own donut like we did for the contusion and cut that to the appropriate size um, or we can use some pre-cut donuts um, these are adhesive pre-cut donuts. Um, so with these, if we were to take the center out of these, again, you'd, not, you'd have to make sh test it to see if it's the right size because it may not necessarily be the right size. So again, we would push on that hard to simulate and then if she said she feels some pressure, then obviously we would need to make that a little bit bigger. Uh, whatever corner or area she said that we need to make that adjustment. And this is really sticky. Definitely adhesive. Because again, you do, again, the purpose of the donut is to take the, the pressure or pain off of the, the blister or the, the injury. So you don't want any part, any of the sides of the donut to touch, touch the, the blister in this case. So again, we'd put it on there again and test it, putting enough pressure to simulate her standing on it. And if she says that's fine, then uh, we could go ahead and wrap that on. Uh, if you need to make it thicker, obviously we can we could put uh, make two layers if we needed to. If that wasn't effective enough, and then we would just uh, wrap this on with our elastic tape. So. and turn her to play. And again, checking it to make sure that the tape is there. And then the last thing we want to make sure is we check circulation and uh, the pulse at the end. And that's it for the uh, blister. Here. Oh, and also uh, make sure that she keeps that clean, uh, uh, as well as the, the bandage, uh, uh, what, whether she uh, puts the antibiotic on it at home and then, or both treatments before practice until, uh, until it heals. Uh, and also tell her to, uh, if she can't save the, the donut pads. Thank you.